All right, so today I think I'm gonna be doing a little series on how the analog synthesizer works. So the synthesizer that I'm using right here is the Korg Mini Log. And if you're in the market for a synthesizer, I would highly recommend this one. I think it's got pretty much everything you could need at not a super expensive price. So to start off with, the first video is gonna be about how to make a simple sound out of your oscillators. So the first thing we need to talk about is what an oscillator is and what it does. So what I have here is I have two VCOs or voltage controlled oscillators. So what the oscillator does in the most simplest definition is it creates an electronic pulse that will represent a frequency and of course that frequency is going to make a sound when it's played through a speaker. So when they say it's an analog synthesizer, that doesn't mean that the synthesizer is actually making a sound, but it's making an electronic pulse that's going to be recognized as a sound by the speaker that's playing the sound and receiving the signal. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to turn our cutoff all the way up um, that's kind of the default setting, and I'll talk more about what that means in the next video. So now that we've done that, we're going to take a look at the oscillator, and I'm actually going to turn off my VCO2. We're just going to be using one oscillator to start out with. And here you can see on my oscillator, I actually have three settings. I have a switch here. The first one is a saw wave. The next one is a triangle wave, and then the square wave. I'm going to start with the square wave, but I'm going to show you all three waves and kind of what that means. One thing that I love about the mini log is that it has this little display, and that display is going to show a graphical representation of the sound that we're making when we hit a key. So for example, all right, so if you watch the display, when I hit the key, it's going to show you the square wave. So the square wave is, in a way, the simplest waveform you can make because it's just alternating between the maximum and minimum amplitudes without anything going on in the middle. So now let's take a look at the triangle wave. So you can already hear that the triangle wave has sort of a softer sound to it. And that makes sense because if you look at the shape of the waveform, it's not so jagged or abrupt. It's a lot smoother between the amplitude. Now the saw wave is similar to the triangle wave, but it also has that sharpness with the immediate contrasting amplitude like the square wave. All right, now going back to the square wave, we can also adjust the shape of the waveform. And the best way to kind of show what that means is to, again, watch the display as I turn the knob. So you can see that the square shape stays similar but it kind of comes closer together and changes the sound. And of course, you can also alter the shape of the triangle and the saw. So the other thing we can do with the VCO is we can change the pitch, which is going to change the frequency that it makes when you press the key. So. And of course we can also change the octave. And when you change the octave, you're just doubling or dividing the frequency and the waveform will become closer or farther apart. Now, the thing we can do with this synthesizer, because we have two VCOs, is we can actually play them both at the same time. 
So for example, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be playing the square wave with the first VCO, and then I'm gonna add in the second VCO playing a triangle wave. And they're gonna combine to make an interesting shape if you watch the display. So I think we've pretty much covered the main points of the oscillator. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the cutoff and how that works and what that does. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you'll check out the next one, too.